everybody and happy new year we're in a new year aren't we it's 2021 uh, we hope you had a really really good christmas uh, maybe some of you got to see some of your relatives uh, maybe some of you just saw them um either on a phone or a computer screen or you might have spoken to them on the phone um but however it was for you uh, we hope you had a really really lovely time and enjoyed yourself so this is virtual vine tots session number 12 and i don't have 12 fingers i can't hold up 12 fingers uh, but we're back again january 2021 we're really excited to get going again um so maybe i should stop waffling maybe we should tap our knees shall we sing the hello song shall we do it together here goes can you tap your knees here goes Let's sing hello together, let's sing hello together, let's sing hello together. We're glad you came today. Hello! Good morning, everybody. Hello. <clears throat> Happy New Year to you all. It's nice to be back. Still not being able to meet with you, but it's good to, to keep in touch anyway. So I hope you all had a good Christmas and it's the start of a new term and we're going to be off with some of our stories again. So this story is about Jesus when he was smaller. So it says here in my book, when Jesus was 12 years old, he went to a festival in Jerusalem which was God's special city. And festivals then were a lot of different than they are now. They were just places to gather and talk to each other. And they were usually held in the temples where everybody just always got together. So they spent a day in the temple and on the way home, Mary and Joseph just couldn't find Jesus, didn't know where he was, were looking high and low and were getting quite concerned about where he'd gone and they looked everywhere. And finally they found him and thought, Phew. he was talking with some teachers in the temple, which was God's house, as we said. And he said to them, you didn't have to worry because I was here in my father's house. So Jesus was in his father's house and his father is God. And he was quite safe there and there was no need to worry at all. See you again next week. Bye. Hello to you all and it's chilly outside. Can you clap your hands? And do you know the song? If you're happy and you like, clap your hands. Well, we're not going to do that one. But we need to have some listening ears. And Rudolph reminded me today about the story that Val told us about the temple. And guess what? A long time ago, I went to that temple. The same temple that Jesus was in, in our story. So can you guess what we're going to make today? You can? That's right, we're going to make a temple. And first, we need an empty box, some paper plates to cut them up, cut them in half, cut the middles out, and you need some tools to roll up. But first, let me show you the one I made, because that'll be easier for you to follow. And here it is. Can you see? There was the door, look. I cut open the door and half a plate and I stuck it down there to hold it down so people could walk in and out. And the paper plate, can you see how I cut that? And I did actually staple them together with a stapler. And then those are tubes and you can put the tubes in. And windows here and windows here. And these two here, all it was, is a little piece, I cut around a circle and snipped it. And somewhere I've got one to show you, here it is. So 
like that and just put it and that's a better one than mine really isn't it and stick it down and stick it on the top and I just put this on for decoration you can do that if you want or you can leave it and I put my people I've got Jesus in the temple because that was the story wasn't it and here comes his mum and dad because they couldn't find him could they and what does Jesus say to them I wasn't lost he said I was in my father's house. So what does that mean? The temple is like God's house, like a church down here. And Jesus was talking to his dad, Father God, in the, in the temple. And like a good son, off they went home. And off he goes with them. There they go. Until the next year. And then the next year they would come and celebrate again. And that's the end of our story. And you can see if you can make a temple like that. So now I'm going to wish you a happy new year. Keep warm, keep safe. And guess what? It might snow. So you can make a snowman. Bye. Thank you so much, Val and Kathleen. And now we've come to our sun time. And uh, I've got Annabelle and Alyssa here helping me again today. Uh, and Kathleen just mentioned snow, didn't she, and snowmen. And it is still winter, isn't it? And it could snow. So I thought, why don't we sing? What are we going to sing, Alyssa? Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. So what we'll do is I'll put the words on the screen uh, so grown-ups can sing along if they want to. We're only going to do two verses. And what I thought might be quite fun is I wonder if you little ones, you could pretend to make a snowman in your lounge while we sing this, couldn't you? So should we have a little practice of, of what that might look like? So first of all, I think you get a little bit of snow. Can you pretend to get a little bit of snow in your hands? And then you have to make it into a ball. You have to pat it all down and make it into a ball. And then do you know what you do? You put the snowball back on the ground and you give it a roll. And you give it a roll. And you give it a roll. And it, a and it gets what, Annabelle? Bigger and bigger. And bigger, and there's your body. And then you have to do the same thing. You can do this much slower in a minute, but you get another bit of snow. And you roll it, and you roll it, and you roll it for your snowman's head. And what could we use for eyes? What could we use for eyes? Rocks. Okay, buttons. so then you have to, or buttons. So you have to go find some rocks or some buttons, and you pretend to put them in your snowman. And then you ask your mummy. <laughs> and you go to the fridge and you get a carrot or wherever you keep your carrots and there's his nose and then you could put little rocks onto his mouth again couldn't you so are you children ready to pretend to build a snowman while yes. we sing this song um, frosty the snowman annabelle Alicia, and i are going to sing frosty the snowman here goes we've got the arms, we've got the arms. what would you have for arms Alyssa? Sticks, there we go, you can go find a stick. Thank you, Melissa. We would have had an arm for a snowman, wouldn't we? <laughs> okay, shall we sing the song? Are you ready, girls? Yeah. Here goes. So, Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Now, I don't think that they've finished their snowmen yet. So I think we need to sing those two verses again. Okay. Shall we do it? Here goes. You carry on. How far have you got? Have you got a body? Have you got a head? Come on. Let's sing again. Here goes. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Well done, give yourselves a clap, well done. How's your pretend snowman looking? In your imagination, I hope he's looking brilliant. So, how do you feel when you build a snowman, girls? Cold. How do you feel, Alyssa? How does it make you feel mm. other than cold? Happy. happy. What song could we sing about feeling happy? If you're happy and you know it, are you ready? Here's one we're all going to know. So, here goes. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. We're going to stamp our feet. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Can you nod your head? Do you want to do that one? If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Now, we can't sing if you're happy and you know it without turning around, because that's fun, isn't it? So I can't turn around because I'm on a chair, and it's not a spinny chair, but Annabelle yeah. and Alyssa, <laughs> Annabelle and Alyssa can turn around, and you can at home as well, I'm sure, look at that spin. And if you've got a skirt on, it's even more fun, isn't it? So, here goes. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, turn around. Let's do all four. Can you remember? If you're happy and you know it, do all four. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all four. <laughs> Fabulous! Give yourselves a clap. Well done! <laughs> well, we're here. I think we should sing the goodbye song. Hope you've enjoyed today. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Can you tap your knee? Here goes. Well done. Let's sing goodbye together, let's sing goodbye together, let's sing goodbye together. We're glad you came to town.